Welcome. Today's video is a follow-up from my last one on how to use a A7 III with a USB-C cable to be a streaming camera. Uh, in today's session, I'm filming on the camera uh, and then I'm going to use sample footage over USB at uh, micro USB, USB-C, um, a EasyCap uh, HD capture. It was about $125. And a cam link 4k about 250 dollars for that one uh, so the idea is give you an idea of the quality of difference between each of these devices um, uh, a few of the things i've noticed around the image quality um, so this versus this turns out it's exactly the same uh, i'll go into more detail about the resolution you'll get um, but also the colors and some ways that you can get pretty good footage out of the cheaper uh, HDMI capture card by tweaking a few settings on the camera. I'm going to step you through all of those and use sample footage. Um, I will put a link somewhere here to the last one if you want to understand how to use the camera um, just over USB uh, cables without a HDMI capture card, the full detail in that video. Um, in this one, it's going to be more of a quality comparison. So uh, what you're seeing now is straight off the camera in 4K. Um, and now, that's when we jump to the USB-C, that the image is significantly smaller. That's because straight off the um, camera over the USB cable, we are only getting uh, 1024 by 576 resolution. That's the equivalent of DVD. Um, so I'm just going to scale it up to the equivalent of 1920 by 1080. Um, and you'll see there that the colors are excellent. The contrast um, is exactly as it was over the cam link. Um, I really like this image, and although it's being upscaled, um, I would say it's still um, very uh, impressive for, for no HDMI capture card being required. So contrasting the USB-C cable, now let's go across to the micro USB. We're now on the micro USB uh, cable, and you'll notice the same with the USB-C. It's 1024 by 576 resolution. Scale it up to 1920 by 1080. It's the identical image. So USB-C versus micro USB, exactly the same image quality. Um, so whichever cable you have handy will work. Um, I have noticed through some testing that the um, camera indicates that it's getting power over USB or USB-C. Um, with the LCD uh, display on the back of the camera turned on, you will actually be using more power than the camera is uh, absorbing. And therefore, my current belief is you'll get about four hours before the battery will be completely dead from a full charge. Not sure about you, but certainly, again, per the USB-C, uh, excellent image quality, great colors, exactly as what you'd be expecting out of camera. Um, so this, again, is a, is a really great option. Just to give you a contrast of quality, uh, I'll flick now to the FaceTime HD camera built into my 2017 MacBook Pro. And as you can see, um, vastly different image quality, uh, as you would expect. The sensor in the Sony with the, uh, in this case, a Tamron 28 to 75 lens is getting a much better picture outcome. Now the EasyCap HD. First thing for me is that the contrast and colors are quite different. Um, so I'd say the contrast is much higher um, and the colors are a lot deeper, um, more blacks. Um, it's quite a nice image. Um, I did need to change the settings in OBS um, because it is requiring my computer to work harder to encode um, the image. Um, need to look into to more about why that is, um, but overall, very high resolution image, um, so clearly superior to the USB cable, uh, but I would say not nearly um, as as consistent with what I'd see over the HDMI over the uh, Elgato 4K um, cam link. Um, but still, for half the price, um, a very, very good image that I'm getting over this. Um, so there are a few settings that I'm going to try and step you through now to, to change the image to be more consistent with what we were seeing over the cam link or uh, the USB cable. So let's just quickly step into those. So the quickest way is just to hit the function button above the wheel at the back, uh, creative style, 
and reduce contrast by three. To me, this is much more like what I was seeing um, over the cam link or the USB. Uh, so a lot more natural and similar to what the um, standard camera output looks like. Uh, I did find when I was using the EasyCap card, I needed to set that to super fast. It seems that the footage coming out of the EasyCap card uh, requires a lot more work from the CPU to, to encode it. So depending on what type of computer you have, that could also be a factor in your decision of, of what card to go for or no card at all. So this is the CamLink 4K. Uh, you'll notice the colors, the image is excellent, can't be faulted. Um, definitely my preference out of all of the uh, options, um, but clearly the most expensive. So getting what you pay for here. And if you can afford it and get a hold of one, certainly recommend it as your best option. So let's now have a look at some of the other settings um, that you can modify in OBS in order to get your stream to work best for YouTube. Um, I've been streaming my partner's uh, yoga classes now for five weeks and have learned a few things around the best settings. Go to settings menu, output. I go to advanced, uh, encode X264 because I don't have a NVIDIA graphics card. If you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, using a hardware um, encoding is going to be significantly better uh, because I don't. Uh, X264, make sure you're setting the rate control to be CBR, not VBR, so constant bit rate, not variable. Um, for my connection and the speed of my machine, anywhere between four and 5,000 kilobits per second uh, has been working the best for me. Uh, and I did find that I needed to set the keyframe interval um, to was working best uh, and with my machine, which is a 2017 uh, MacBook Pro Intel Core i7 3.5 gigahertz uh, dual core, um, with my settings, I've been running that very fast. I did notice when I've been using the EasyCap card, I've been required to set that to super fast as the machine can't keep up with the encoding. Um, there must be something to do with the output footage uh, on the EasyCap that requires more CPU intensive encoding. You can set to record locally to make sure you've got a backup file in case the stream's quality is poor. You might want to switch to a recorded file later. Uh, audio and replay buffer I've been leaving exactly as is default. Stream um, is set to the details you get out of your YouTube account. One of the most important learnings I had was that the um, network connection and the stability of the network connection makes a massive impact. I was using Wi-Fi, I'd run pin tests, and my wireless seems to be very stable from, for normal use. But as far as streaming is concerned, a significant improvement when I shifted to using a network cable plugging directly into my router. Um, would highly recommend that. If you're shooting indoors uh, or in any uh, light other than natural sunlight, uh, I would always recommend going into your function menu here, change the white balance, so just arrow up once to get to the very bottom of the menu, uh, choose set. And the easiest way to do that is then just to focus in on uh, a, a uh, white piece of paper, or in this case, my uh, walls are painted in a neutral color. And as you can see there, that's sitting at 5,300. I uh, hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, if it has, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe, comments below for any questions, feedback, or any other um, assistance you'd like in your use of OBS streaming or Sony cameras. Thank you.